Oh yeah, we are here. That was so we fast. Are bad. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we went off because we went to the and he comes. Are we on? Yeah, we are on. Oh yeah. Are we on? Can you check on your... Yes, we are. We are on, okay. Yeah. Hi, sorry, we are still the bundles, the network, the everything, the confusion, because my phone went off because it had low battery. But don't worry, we but are right here. But don't worry, we are right here. We have to finish we this, have whether to. the devil likes it or, or not. not. We, we have are to helping heal these. families. Ah. And I'm also trying to share with my phone. Yeah, kindly right do this. Here. Share the, Click the share button. Those five people who are watching right now, so that we can bring back the audience, mm. we can kindly click confirm the share. if you are good. Yes, kindly confirm if you're watching us, and yeah, you, as you confirm, kindly click clear. the share button. Yeah, can you check on you? Uh, click on the share button right now. Click on the share button so that we can receive the audience that went off. I know there it was interrupted abruptly yeah, because abruptly. of the hitches. Mm. My phone went off and I'm sorry for what happened and what transpired. We are back because we have to finish this. Though we are not supposed to start back from the beginning, we are supposed to start from where we were and now can someone confirm whether we are up? Someone confirm whether you're watching us? Someone confirm kindly? Can someone please confirm? I can't see nothing. Yeah. Please confirm to us, hey, Mwage Karo, what's up, Kamau, can you kindly confirm whether you're watching us or not? And click the share button. I know you're watching, and it, it will not cost you an extra, an extra coin. Just click the share button so that your friends and your families and your your besties can see what's up. Hi, hi, can you can you see us? Can you watch us? Is it on, in your, on your phone? Yeah. So we're back. So we are back, so we are back, and so we are back, and we will go straight to the question that we were tackling. And mm -hmm. I was, I had asked Grace, mm -hmm. how long should a in law in -law visit. stay visit here? Yeah. yeah, it's possible unless, unless, unless with irregularities like poverty, lack, and you're really supporting people, and you're acting like actually parents. Because there are people in families, they are like parents. Maybe mm -hmm. this couple act, yeah. acts like the parents of the Thank the you, kids. Mary. The kids who are who have been maybe left by the parents, or maybe the parents are not able to take care of them. When they come to the house, they're supposed to understand that they have not come here to bring opinions. They have not come here to observe the way the people are living. Mm -hmm. If possible, don't. Um, for example, if it's my sister who is visiting my house, mm -hmm. I shouldn't be sitting with her to discuss my husband. Yes. Even if we have differences, look for a friend outside your family to go and discuss with. Because what happens, if you open up and you let them know the secrets of this marriage, the yes. bedroom matters, the mm -hmm. issue that you're having with your husband, mm -hmm. when they go home, they go to report. Yes. So you start wondering, was my act of kindness, my the way I invited pr problem and trouble between me and my in-laws? Yes. Because there are some secrets are supposed to be between a husband and a wife, or mm -hmm. between this nuclear family. Mm -hmm. So if possible, if it is possible, let the in-laws have the minimum time of visiting your home. Yes. Watcha mukutana inje, meet in joyful moments. If they visit two to three days and then they leave. Unless, they will get so familiar. They yeah, they get, get so familiar, familiar they get so used. Yes. And then they'll just bring this. Will there will be a lot of... Um, what in the cases where there are this, maybe it's he's a, he or she is a student uh -huh. and he comes to live with you because for a moment he's mm. going to school. Yeah. As maybe he is he supposed to look for a hostel or is he supposed to just if it is you? possible look for a hostel yes let them come visiting over the holidays and go back it's not possible and you're not able to raise money for a hostel and you have to live with that person the person you know if it's, it's either my sister or my husband's sister or my brother or my husband's brother is it yes. true or a relative yes. from my side and a relative from his side you who is from the side of this relative sit that relative down let them understand the boundaries not the other side, not like your wife is the one who is telling, the, like our wife is telling the brother to the husband, this is where you go, this is what you do. Upon mm Yoshida -hmm. Ukujia, because the woman will feel you're not talking to your brother. Your brother is leaving the socks on the, on the table. Yes. Your brother is messing up the, the, the plates and the, 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 the bathroom and everything. Yes. The person who is related to this uh, relative, you're the one who is supposed to put order in that house, mm -hmm. not the other way around. Yes. So you don't leave... Like if it's a girl who has come to the house and mm -hmm. it's a sister to the husband, mm -hmm. you expect the wife to measure up the, 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 the standards for this girl. No. Talk to your sister and let her understand this is your wife and she's your sister. Mm -hmm. And that this is the owner of the house. Mm -hmm. Let her understand boundaries from the word go. Because especially the people from the husband's side are the ones who come to say, this is my brother's house. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's his house. 
and I'm his wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the point. Mm -hmm. So stay in your place as I stay in my place. Mm -hmm. I am not the one to tell my, my sister-in-law that. It is my husband who is supposed to talk to my sister-in-law mm -hmm. because they are blood and mm -hmm. they can always agree. Mm -hmm. If it's my sister or my brother that has come to the house, mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to sit in down and tell him, this is my husband. Yes. Your opinion is not welcome at all, at all. Yes. Don't even try to bring your opinion here because it cannot work. Yes. But when it comes from my husband, it looks like hatred. Mm -hmm. If it comes from my the, the other person, mm -hmm. the, the, the in-law, it becomes a problem because yes. they feel like the person doesn't like them. So wisdom dictates, talk to your person, the one you have brought to the house. Mm -hmm. Let them understand boundaries. Mm -hmm. If there's a mistake, if there's a mistake, don't go addressing it. Don't allow them to, to bad mouth the bad mouth your partner. Yes. Like this, this is your sister. Try to tell you, your wife is making me work a lot. Don't talk things behind. If she dares do that, call the two of them. Sit them down. Discuss the matter at hand. Let them know they are no secrets. If it is your wife who is mistreating your sister, let it be known in the clear. Because she'll also be careful how she handles the, your sister. In laws, if it is you, wife, and the, the sister to the husband has come, don't forget this is blood. So don't try to badmouth your the sister to the to the brother. This is blood. Be wise that this is relation. You must mm -hmm. also be careful and respect her because she is your husband's sister. Mm -hmm. So respect and and, uh, and dignity is what can guard such a family. But if there's a way you can avoid it, mm -hmm. please avoid living with relatives. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And live with your husband. Live your, with your husband or your wife. Yeah. yeah. So what else? The other thing is about helping in laws. Oh, yeah. The money. The money issue. Sometimes, uh, mostly, let me say mostly, because nowadays everybody is blessed to have a job or a source of income, mm -hmm. and you realize that there's, there's, there's a, there are homes where the man is, uh, is uh, earning and the woman is also earning. Mm -hmm. Then I happen to have my family, you also have your family. Yes. When it is possible, have an agreement. Let us agree. This is the much we can support our in-laws. If it's my, my mother and your mother, let's know how much we can give them. Mm -hmm. If there's a standard amount we can give them, some parents are sick, we need to pay hospital bills, buy them medicine, I can spend my money the way I want. Yeah. We shouldn't fight. We shouldn't, but there shouldn't be a fight that I am supporting my parents, you're also supporting your parents. Normally, women have a problem. They will always complain, do you also have hands? Go and work hard and give your mother money. <laughs> uh, by the way, <laughs> well, I guess you like but, laughing. But uh, the, my, my husband's money belongs to us. Let me tell but you, it doesn't belong belong to, to me. It's a lie. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget, it's your mother, not his mother. Oh, yeah. There's a way people have a notion, and that ignorance is the worst demon that you can ever have. Yes. That my husband is supposed to embrace my mother the way he embraces his mother. But of course. Do you also embrace her, yeah, his mother the way you embrace your mother? Yeah, but no, it's a lie. Mm -hmm. There are levels you can't reach. Your mother is your mother. And your mother is in law is your mother in law. There is no way you will put them in the same place mm -hmm. as far as love and affection is concerned. Mm -hmm. You will love your mother in law the way you're supposed to love her. And your husband will love your mother the way he's supposed to love her. Do so. Make sure you are industrious. So everybody so should love their mother. I did say everybody should love their mother. We should love all of them. But you should understand when this comes to a point of sacrifice, nobody can sacrifice like the way you can for your own mother. Mm -hmm. So don't crucify your husband because he didn't go stay with your mother in the hospital for five days. It is your part. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to his part, because he can't wash his mother, you can go and stay with his mother for five days. All right. Yes, counselor. One thing I'll say mm -hmm. is that marriage, can, can we accept that marriages should be run by love, acceptance, and sacrifice? But can Whereby you, can, we are not can, selfish. Can we, can we come in agreement that all families are unique? You start, are, pointing, you start pointing every family, accusing your oh, husband yeah. or your wife. Mm. Why can't we live like such a family? No. So every family every is unique. Family and what unique. you agree, and what you agree is what you agree. The people who have already agreed, we will be giving our parents money this way. Our family, and the, the best wisdom in Akuanga, if I am with my mother, and we sorry, with my husband, and we want to give my mother money, let my husband give that money to her. If we are giving his mother, mother money, let me give the money. Okay. Why? Because I am the one who is trying to blend with her. Oh, yeah. True. The son is already loved. Yes. The son is not buying anything. Yeah, they are not trying to win anything. Neither am I trying to win anything in my family. It goes to the point, and I want to interject that this is because wisdom. it is yes, because this is also out of 
for picture. It also goes like that to children who you get married with kids. You come with kids or he comes with kids. Like blended families. But let me ask you, there's uh -huh. a friend of mine. Mm. And she was the breadwinner and mm -hmm. she was she had built a very nice home mm -hmm. and she, the cars belonged to, mm -hmm. to, to, to her mm -hmm. she never told the mother-in-law that these these properties are mine yeah until when the mother-in-law thought this woman is not the right woman for mm -hmm. my son mm -hmm. and i should bring a house girl who should get married so that they can enjoy all this money mm -hmm. little did she, he know, the mother-in-law know yeah. that this property belongs to the woman i'm smiling because i love the deal <laughs> i love that i love so that. it came to a point that 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 friend of mine mm -hmm. had to tell the mother-in-law, come and listen, this, all these properties belong to me. Yeah, shame on the mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how, how, how are you supposed to, in, you see, let me tell you, you, you you're, telling, you're telling me mm -hmm. and you're telling them yes. that... She thought you are laughing. <laughs> she was laughing at yeah. us, but it's very interesting, by the way. Yeah, uh -huh. You're telling us that I should give the mother-in-law money mm -hmm. and he should give the, my, my mother money. Yes. So at which point... Mm -hmm. Should you tell the mother-in-law mm -hmm. that, uh, hey, hey, not not in a direct way? Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you approach such a thing? That when when we are united with my husband, mm -hmm. we can always paint the picture we want. Mm -hmm. Actually, the problem of a family is not the, the in-laws; it is us too. How much have we opened the door mm -hmm. for anybody to interject? Mm -hmm. How much have we allowed them to come in? If I want to paint the best picture for my husband to my parents, I'll do exactly that. Mm -hmm. If he wants to paint the best picture about me to his parents, he'll do exactly that. Mm -hmm. So it's about us. How do you feel about each other? Mm -hmm. If I feel like you're helping your mother too much, and I'm jealous, nasitaki, mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're, I feel like you're doing too much for your mother, mm -hmm. definitely this will outspin, and even your mother will know that I'm not feeling very good yes. when he's bought a dress. Yes. If you feel bad that I'm buying my mother clothes, and you are very angry about it. At some point, it akuja kutokea to. Because when it reaches a point and I realize you don't like my people, do you think I'll also embrace you into their lives? Mm -hmm. I will separate myself and start helping my mother. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one who will can get you, a can, can, you, can you tell husbands, and maybe no, not even the, the other side, maybe mm -hmm. the mother-in-laws, are not, no, but now we are, by now we are, not, we are not talking to the mother-in-laws. Yes. We are talking to, to husbands and wives. Yes. How, 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 how are you supposed to tell your mother mm -hmm. Maybe a husband, mm -hmm. the husband, the mother to the husband. Mm -hmm. How how far is she to the, the husband? Sons? Your mother is your mother, your wife is your wife. Can you have two separate places for these two women? Because they are both very important to you. That is number one thing. This woman brought you to this world and she's your first love. Mm -hmm. And this is the wife of your youth and the woman you will spend the rest of your life. The mother to your children. And the woman you are supposed to cling and become one. When you put a distinction, you will understand that this is not your mother's house. If your mother comes and be trying to take anything, picking things from the house, let her understand. Hapa ni kwangu na muke wangu. If you want towels, I'll buy you a towel. Towel? How much is a towel? Mm -hmm. She's supposed to understand. If you find but something you in this house. But you see, they're not even taking because they don't have. They're no. just taking because that house belongs to my son. Yes, it is not my son's. Let your mother know it is your wife and your house. Yes. Nini wawili. So when she comes, she will understand her boundaries. If she ever takes anything, don't keep quiet. Some people are not able to tell their parents when they are doing wrong. I didn't say you confront them with anger and rebuke them. Talk to them with love and patience. Tell them, mom, we really would like, we love you so much. You know I can give you anything you want. I can buy you as many towels, as many blankets, as much as you want. But when you meet something in my wife's house, the way you wouldn't have wanted my show, show to come and pick things in your house with my father, don't do it here. Because if you love me as your son, you will want the best for me. Let me have peace with my wife. Because when you come to behave like this, you're not creating peace with me and my wife. Mm -hmm. So allow us to grow and allow us to build ourselves. Yes. Yeah. The conclusion. Mm -hmm. The conclusion the is, uh, let us have boundaries in our families. Let the relationship be, be between the two of you. Extend love to your in-laws. Extend love to the other members of the family. But don't, let the, don't open the door for their room to come and interrupt and interfere with your marriage. Also something that I would like to say, if you have an issue that is burning and you realize that it is beyond the two of you and you feel like you want to involve the parents, have an agreement the two of you. Bringing in a parent let you to agree. Watch a like you're going to tell your parents 
without her awareness. She'll feel so insecure. Mm. She will start wondering what is my place. She'll start asking herself what else was discussed in my absence yes. if this has been happening. The same case with a woman. If you're involving your parents, let your husband know you're talking to your parents about an issue. See, at the, your husband hears his, his father-in-law calling him to tell him, this is what my daughter has told me. He'll feel like he is so irrelevant in, his, in your mm. life. So let us respect each other. Yes. Have, let us care. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was the best. Imagine. Oh my goodness. Mm. Let us care. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come, come decide. It's only that she it was the right thing. They have their place, you have your place. Let's not mix issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, in conclusion, let me t tell you what she said, mm -hmm. what our counselor said today, that you should not mix issues. Let the, the, the in-laws have their place. Mm -hmm. Let them not come and, 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 and close boundaries that yeah. you have set. Mm -hmm. Set the boundaries between you. And before you, you finish, let me also say something mm -hmm. that I had forgotten. Mm -hmm. You who is not related to the other, like if you are a man and this is your mother-in-law, yes. try as much as, as you can to win their love. Mm -hmm. People communicate through love. Yes. Love them, treat them right and they will love you. Yes. You woman that has been married in this family, can you treat your sisters in law well? Treat them well, buy not buy them, but treat them and win their hearts yes. through your love. Yeah. Not the, making your man endorse you in the family. Yeah. Endorse yourself through love. Yeah. True, <laughs> true, true, not saying that my husband doesn't even tell them that I'm his it wife. Is, it it, it is the work of like... a woman to build a house and to break it up. That is it. it is the work of a woman to have wisdom to gel with the in-laws because the it point. will be very difficult mm. for your husband yeah. to gel you together yes. when you are the same person who is fighting them. That is so the know point. how to love them, how mm. to put them in their place yeah. by not only commanding mm -hmm. by, but by showing them that love the with point. wisdom. Mm -hmm. The second thing, don't go uh, taking the dirty linen outside there to your in-laws. That if you point. have some disagreements with your husband and your wife, mm -hmm. don't go, don't go telling the the brothers and sisters yes. because they will not learn to love your husband or your wife. Yes. They will they will start separating. They will start having a a, a very big. Uh, it's called what? And they will not. They will. They will have never, a gap between. They you. will have a gap between you, yeah. and they will not learn to love him back. But you will love him back. But they will never. They never forgive. Him. Actually, they'll never forget the picture you yes. painted yes. about him how, or her. How can how can we get you, Grace? Um, let me give you my number. Yes. By the way, I've received why, several calls. Why are you sitting down? down my my you, leg. And we want to see your your beautiful dress. <laughs> can can you stand up? Can you stand up? Okay. All right. Yes, we want to see that dress. Can you tell them that I'm the one who sold you this dress in oh Wangeshi, the brand closet? <laughs> oh, what was the name again? Wangeshi, the, the brand closet. Wangeshi, friend. the brand closet. Yes. They were in New Zealand. It's a lie. It's Gloria Kinyangi. <laughs> You know, she's watching me and then you're here. <laughs> she's called Gloria Kinyangi. Yes. And, uh, and um, uh, my, my, my number is 0724. Mm -hmm. 537 mm -hmm. 530. 0724 537 530. Call me. Yes. Book an appointment. Let's talk. Yes. Let's talk about these things. And my talk is not just a talk. When you come to me, we deal with it psychologically yeah. and we bring the spiritual part of it. Because I believe it is God who ordained marriages. And the marriage can never work without the hand of God. Yes. So you've got to involve God in this marriage. Where do we get you? My office is next to, you see Audion, next building from Audion Cinema. The building has cooperative bank, the first floor. The fourth floor, that's where my office is. When you come there and I'm not there, just say you're looking for grace and book for an appointment. Mm -hmm. If you walk in when I'm not there, because I leave, I go. I go to see people in many places. I travel all over the country. And so most of the times I'm not in the office. Mm -hmm. But when you have my number, when you when you call that number that I've given, nobody else receives it. It is this one here. Yeah. It is this one. So and we thank you. Thank it. you for everything. Thank, thank you, Grace. You thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. And I can also remind you that please, I have there's this page of mine that I am selling clothes, the Wangeshi, the branch closet. You can like it, but kindly call that girl. She's called Effie because I can't be able to return all those messages and the calls. Mm. Please, Mata, family from Naivasha, and Daga, you there, please uh -huh. go and to my page and, and do it. <laughs> and God loves you so much. Have mm -hmm. a wonderful day. God mm. bless you. Thank bye, you, Pastor Sami. And Takuja Kununu applaud. He sells clothes. Pastor Sami from Naivasha. Thank you let him come and, and do it here.